Brock Purdy, first game scoring fewer than 20 points. 19 points. Quarterback rating below 80. No touchdowns. Thinking, boy, maybe Brock got exposed. Maybe Brock's not that much better than Jimmy Garoppolo after all. Well, I actually, I'm not sure Jimmy wins this game. Jimmy had a turnover issue, especially in the playoffs. Say what you want about Brock. It wasn't his best statistical game, but in a game where Kyle Shanahan wasn't at his best, the run game was MIA until the end of the third quarter. I mean, Brock didn't have a lot of help, right? Everyone always says, well, he's got the best supporting cast in the league. His job is so easy. Not today. Not today. And he made plays. Most importantly, he didn't turn the ball over. He made some big throws, particularly the one to Kittle, that Kittle had that juggling catch. But the most important thing that Brock did was not turn the ball over. Why did Brock not turn the ball over? Because he can move and he knows how to throw the ball away. He does it all the time, frequently. Jimmy Garoppolo, I, I think I told him that he was allowed to do that. I think he was like, really? There's not a rule against that? So I do think Brock Purdy clearly makes his team better. That being said, a little concerning in the sense that you're looking at him the last two months as, hey, this guy is their franchise quarterback. Well, today he looked like a game manager, a good game manager who can make some plays. But at the same time, I don't know that this performance from Brock is going to be enough next week in Philly. So these are big tests for him. And frankly, if he fails next week in Philly, I don't know, you write him off. It would be his first loss. But these are, I mean, there's a reason that a, a rookie quarterback has never won more than two playoff games. He's won two. Him, Joe Flacco, Mark Sanchez. Next week is going to be a huge test. And if he wins it, if he beats Philly next week, he'll be like the most legendary rookie quarterback ever, if he isn't already. But, um, again, for all these reasons, I don't know that we necessarily should expect Brock Purdy and the Niners offense to just tear it up next week. Got to go cross country. One fewer day to, to prepare than Philly. The book is out on the Brock Purdy defense. Pete Carroll created it. Uh, Dan Quinn improved upon it. And the Eagles are going to be studying it. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I thought he was, I gave him a B plus for this performance. He was good, not great. Really impressed by how well he does protecting the ball. There was one near pick, but uh, that was tipped by what? Anthony Barr? There was also another throw early in the game to Brandon Ayuk that was underthrown, but really Brandon Ayuk didn't stack the receiver. Like he didn't do any. It was an easy pass breakup because Brandon Ayuk didn't run the route particularly well or play particularly well in this game. So I'm still in, in, uh, encouraged by Brock Purdy, but you do have to acknowledge that teams are starting to figure him out a little bit in the sense that they had no freaking clue what to do against him three weeks ago, and now it's like there's an idea. 